So we know that if there's a change in the total energy within a system, if the change in energy is not zero, that means energy was either transferred into the system or transferred out of the system. And we call that transfer of energy uh, by applying an exter external force over some displacement work. If we look at this situation with a box resting on level ground, and whether the ground and the box, there's friction between them or not, if you apply a force, uh, over some displacement, energy is going to be either transferred into that box, into that system, or out of that system. If the force is constant and uh, you have some value of displacement d, then you can just simply quantitatively calculate the work being done by the force used multiplied by the displacement. If the force is to the right and the displacement is to the right, meaning that there's no uh, angle between them, so they're parallel, then the work done, or the work at the energy added to the system is just equal to the force used times the displacement. And that's positive because the force is in the same direction as the displacement. If we look at the units, a force in units of newtons times the displacement in units of meters gives newton meters, or newtons times, newton times meters, and we know that is a joule our metric measure of energy. If we look at this situation again, but instead use an angled force, uh, there's not as much energy added to this system, and here's why. Not all of that force is in the same direction as the displacement. Only the x component of, the, of that force is parallel to the displacement, and so only the x component of the force is actually transferring energy to the box. So the, the change in energy of the box system, which will be equal to the work, is the x component of the force times the displacement. And we can calculate the x component of the force, since that's the adjacent side of our triangle, with the force times the cosine of theta. And so if we have an angled force, we can calculate that. This represents the x component f cosine of theta times the displacement. So the work done for the second situation then can be calculated by taking the force used times the displacement times the cosine of theta. And it's positive because the component or the x component of the force is in the same direction as the, the object's displacement. On your AP Physics 1 equation sheet, this is what you're given. The change in energy, if there's a change in total energy, is equal to the work done. Well, that can be calculated by taking the parallel force or the parallel component of the force times the displacement or in general for any situation whether it's a force parallel to the displacement or at an angle relative to the displacement it's just the force the actual force times the displacement times the cosine of theta um, and this is actually this will actually work for any situation whether the force is in the same direction as the displacement or the opposite direction if the component is in the same direction, the angle is less than 90 degrees, and it will be a positive amount of work. Energy will be transferred into the system. If that angle between the displacement and the force is greater than 90 degrees, then that component will be in the opposite direction of the displacement. That cosine of that larger angle than 90 will automatically give you a negative sign, indicating that energy is being transferred out of the system. Uh, and negative work is being done. Let's look at another situation uh, where the force being applied to our box system is parallel to the displacement, but let's just imagine that the force uh, is not constant. Uh, it follows this graph shown right here, so that for the first half of the displacement, the force is some constant force F. And then over the last half of that displacement, the force decreases down to zero. So if we wanted to calculate uh, the force, the work done, or energy transfer to the box, if the force was constant, we would use this equation. But if it's not, we have to find the area of a force versus displacement graph, just like we did with our spring to figure out spring potential energy. Uh, to calculate the amount of work done or the energy transferred into the box. So the energy transferred to the box over the first half of the displacement is just going to be the area uh, of this rectangle right here. 
the area of a rectangle is base times height. So we have a base of d divided by 2 multiplied by a height of our generic force. The energy added to the box over the last half of the displacement will be less since it's a decreasing amount of force over that displacement. Now we have the area of a triangle, one half base times height. So one half times our base of, again, d over 2 times the height of our triangle, which is our force F. So the total work done, or the energy transferred to the box in this situation, is one half times the force times the displacement. That's the area of our rectangle, plus the area of our triangle, which, if we simplify this, is just one fourth times the force times the displacement. So the total amount of energy transferred into our box is positive work. That means the energy is transferred in is three fourths force times displacement.